Hi folks, Matt Easton here. This is not a sabre. So uh, I get quite frustrated many times in discussions online and have done for many years because people refer to swords like this 1908 pattern, this is the British 1908 pattern cavalry sword, or the um, US 1913 so-called pattern sabre, as it's often known, uh, as sabres. And they are not sabres, okay? This is a straight thrusting sword. A straight thrusting sword, by definition, isn't a sabre. A sabre is a curved cut and thrust sword. This is a sabre, okay? This is a sword. And if you just think about it for a minute, just because they have hilts which are superficially similar in design, they're a form of dish hilt, that doesn't actually really dictate the way that you use the sword very much. Yes, the fact that you've got hand protection there governs the way that you would use the sword to some degree, especially on foot, especially you know fencing on foot, less so on horseback I would say. However, Fundamentally, a basket-hilted sword, or a rapier, or certain types of side sword, or in fact Indian kandar with, with their basket hilts, provide essentially the same degree of protection, or very similar degrees of protection. So all of those swords, if you only judged a kandar, a rapier, and a sabre based on their hand protection, you'd say, oh, we would use them the same, so they must be the same sword. Well, of course not. They have completely different blades on them, and it's the blade of a sword that really primarily dictates how you use it. The blade of a curved cut and thrust sword is used as a curved cut and thrust sword. The blade of this absolutely straight sword that is good for thrusting, very, very stiff, but frankly absolutely useless for cutting, you could hit someone with the edge, but you're not going to cut much, is entirely different. And on that basis, I have always argued that the 1908 pattern cavalry sword, and in fact the American 1913 pattern sword, not sabre, are actually closer to rapiers. And this is what they were going for. Both those swords were dedicated thrusters. They decided at the end of the 19th century, beginning of the 20th century, to make swords, by and large for most Western militaries, that were very focused on the thrust. Um, and to the complete detriment of the cut. That's not to say again that they can't cut. Yes, you could hit someone with the edge, just as you could with the rapier. However, as I've mentioned in previous videos, the more you specialise a weapon for one thing, the more you have to take away from other things. So, in actual fact, I would argue the British 1908 cavalry sword, and indeed the American 1913, is essentially a rapier. Okay, it is not a sabre. Its use and its form and its function are dictated by the type of blade it has, which is a completely specialised stiff thrusting blade. Okay, so there we go guys. Please stop calling it a sabre. Cheers.